Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Fry Guy here, back at it again with the third episode of my guide series that I like to call Fry's Guides. Fry's Guides is a series where I go over tips, tricks, and strategies in different video games, with the first couple episodes being about Splitgate. Splitgate is an FPS that was developed by a small team over at 1047 Games. Their goal was to create a competitive arena shooter that had elements from Halo 3 and Portal. And if you ask me, they did one hell of a job. It's definitely one of my favorite games right now and is totally underrated. Not to mention free. Yes, that's right. Splitgate is free to play on Steam. Link in the description box below if you're interested in downloading the game yourself and trying it out. Today's episode of Fry's Guys is going to be about the more controversial weapon in the Splitgate arsenal called the Assault Rifle. The Assault Rifle is your go-to weapon in casual and ranked and could be considered a power weapon in the popular competitive game mode Takedown. In most game modes, you actually spawn in with the Assault Rifle. As far as I know, only in competitive tournaments is a loadout changed along with Takedown. That means the Assault Rifle will be on the ground as floor loot. Now from this point on, I'm going to just call it, it the AR, just so you guys know. Now the AR is probably the best utility weapon in the game since it could be your go-to weapon for short, medium, long, and even extremely long ranges. Its amazing damage output makes the weapon incredibly strong, with a close quarters body shot being 13 points of damage and a headshot being 18 points of damage. Which is wild because that means if you hit all body shots, the AR is an 8 shot weapon. Then if you hit all headshots, it's only a 6 shot weapon. Now for medium range, it's the same deal. Such an incredible weapon to, at short to medium ranges. How does it stack up with longer ranges? Well, from long range, the weapon can deal a variety of damage. From long range, a body shot is 12 points of damage and a critical is 17 points of damage. Then from a little longer than that, as shown in the footage, body shots are still considered 12 points of damage, while the critical is 16 points. Now what's even crazier is from even longer range than that, body shots are 11 points of damage, along with what's good as a critical is still 16 points, which means from extremely long range, the AR is a 7 tap, which is incredible. <laughs> it's funny, while filming the footage I found a very weird inconsistency with the AR at extremely long range, and sometimes a critical can be 16 points of damage instead of 15. You know, it's really odd, so maybe you'll get lucky with your AR duels. I really like this weapon a lot, and especially as a controller player, I rely on this weapon to be able to compete with keyboard warriors. Aim assist is mad good with this weapon, so be sure to, as Pomage said it, aim higher so you can hit those headshots. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and even consider subscribing for more awesome Splitgate content. We have a ton of content coming to the channel, including more Splitgate guides and tournament gameplay. If you didn't know, me and my ragtag group of heroes, whom we call ourselves Cake, became the Splitgate January Amateur Champs, and this Saturday, February the 13th, we will be defending our title of champion in the February Amateur Tournament. If you're interested in watching it live, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash xfryguy, link in the description box below. In the next episode of Fry's Guys, we're going to go over the little brother of the AR and a controller player's best friend, the SMG. Remember guys, we do it all hashtag for the village and to take it easy. I'll see y'all in the next one.